Florida Governor Ron DeSantis speaking out today about the Biden jab mandates. And, well, he says action will be taken. We're going to get into all the details of that in just a second, guys. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Also, if you could, guys, consider making a generous donation here to our ministry. If you enjoy the daily content we put out talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines and our ministry here of getting people to Jesus Christ, you could help out through PayPal or Patreon, or even just five bucks a month on Patreon will get you bonus content. Plus, we include the links to the YouTube videos so you get all alerts when new content arrives. You can comment there censorship-free, send me direct messages. It's a great way to stay up to date with all the content that we produce here. Another big reminder, and I can't stress this enough, go sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. We're already posting there, so go check it out. All the links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing. And for those of you thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So today... Ron DeSantis holding a press conference, and he was talking about the Biden jab mandate. Now, OSHA is currently writing that right now, but we know that many businesses have already started to basically enact these mandates. I mean, they were jumping at this opportunity. They loved it. All they had to do was just hear that Biden was going to be doing this because they were already thinking about doing it anyway, and they were off to the races. However, not the case in Florida. Today, Governor DeSantis saying this. He is now calling on, demanding that the Florida legislature, that's right, that they invalidate this mandate. He is calling for a special session for this to be addressed right now because he said we need to protect the workers. He says this cannot wait until next year's session starts. That, that's when it would be. They would have several months before the legislature is back in session. No, he is calling for an immediate session now. Now, even though a date has not yet been set on this, we're expecting it within the next couple of weeks. DeSantis saying that a person's right to work, make a living for their families, should not be dependent on getting a jab. He said very early on in Florida, when these jabs came out, we told people they're here for you, we're going to offer them, but we're never going to mandate them because that's a personal decision that should be made with each individual based off their own health conditions, what their doctor tells them, you know, their their ability to recover from the virus, all of that. And he was 100% right when he said that. And he said, if the, the federal level, if they are not going to protect Americans, if they're not going to be looking out for their best interests, if they're basically going to be harming them, which is exactly what this mandate does, it is up to the states to go ahead and protect the people. He's basically saying here that he's lost all faith in the federal government, and I don't think he's the only one. I think we all have collectively as well. Uh, you know, you guys have maybe seen this now. It's this thing that's kind of sweeping across the country. People are saying, don't blame me. I voted for Trump. You know, all the people that were, you were ticked off at him and didn't want to vote for Trump. They're saying, hey, don't look at me. Don't blame me for what's happening. I voted for Trump. I didn't vote for your, your boy Biden, okay? And look, I, Trump has done some things that I don't like, but you know what? He'd be a lot better than what we see right now happening with Biden. That is for sure. So DeSantis is strong on this. And he even said that we cannot wait for the official mandate to be written out, for them to announce the dates. He's even said that they're going to be challenging it in court as soon as it comes out anyway. But the Florida legislature has to get this going now. And I like that because DeSantis doesn't want to just do it at the executive level and just put out an executive order. He wants this at the legislative level because obviously with an executive order, it could be you know overturned with another governor. It needs to be done at the legislative level. Now, speaking of executive level, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, a couple of weeks ago, he did sign an executive order that would ban any businesses from firing employees for their refusal to get a jab. Basically, it could not be a condition of employment. Your condition for employment, whether or not you're qualified, should not be dependent upon you getting a jab. Now, they're going to be looking into a special session as well to put that in at the legislative level. Hopefully, that takes place. But currently, right now, as it stands, and not a lot of people know this, and I try to mention this from time to time, Montana is the only state that currently has legislation uh, that legislation that's already out there. The legislature passed this back in May, ladies and gentlemen. That's months before, four months before the Biden cronies went out there and put out this mandate. They knew this was coming a long time ago. They passed it. 
The governor of Montana, Greg Gianforte, he signed that into law. So they're good. They're set. They're ready. They were ahead of the curve. And now we need the rest of the states to come on and step up to this as well. So I would say whatever state that you're in, you know, I mean, really, a red states, because I know with the blue states, it's going to be hard to get your, your legislatures there to get on board with this. But in red states, you really got to rise up now at this point and call on your state legislatures to pass legislation just like this to block these jab mandates from being a requirement for, you know, the employees. This, they should not be getting fired for this. It's absolutely ridiculous. So uh, definitely support DeSantis with this and any other governor, Republican governor, or any governor for that matter, who would do the same thing. Uh, it's the only thing that's going to you know, truly change here uh, with this country. But it's not the only thing. Uh, what this country really needs is a true heart change and repentance and a turn to Jesus Christ. Whether or not that happens or not remains to be seen. However, you personally can make the decision to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, which is what this ministry is all about. We talk about the prophetic news headlines going on around the world because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. But if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, we want to give you this opportunity right now to do so. I will lead you in a prayer right now. You can do this prayer in your own words, but I'll give you the steps you need to bring that prayer before the Lord. The first thing that you want to do is to acknowledge that you're a sinner. It's something that we all are. But let me tell you the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle, habit, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.